say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. So yesterday I took a video of Sophie and the girls napping saying that it was only 8 o'clock and yet they're already asleep. Half seven. <laughs> if that, I think it was. I think it was like 20 past, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Half past seven tonight. I'm just like, I need to go to sleep. I'm so exhausted. I know I spoke to mum for like an hour and ten minutes but normally I can speak to mum and like I can still be awake but today uh uh um but you have been looking pale I yeah mean, even there, you, you don't look a normal colour no um it's okay I think what doesn't help is that my blood counts are so low and I can't take anemia tablets because they make me really ill and cause horrific pain and I'm still waiting to go and see Gastro to get an iron infusion even though it's however long later and it's like whenever then I then have a period on top of low anemia it just adds to things and just makes it so much worse. It's just so cool, isn't it? Like yeah. you don't manage to make your blood count and everything back to normal in between before no. the next one starts and then that one starts. So it's like a continual cycle that just gets worse and worse. Yeah. Um so that's fun. But yeah, I'm just mega exhausted. I mean yesterday we only painted more of the trellis which I did show you. Um, but yeah, it's just one of them things. So, I'm still quite sleepy, but I'm going to try and stay awake for a little bit. It's 20 to 11 now, but how much I do not know. <sighs> but anyway, I've just wrote in my diary about our housing team coming out to assess the wall that we, the, the, out the front we have a wall that's like the steps yeah so it's, the, we were railing on we've, we swore we put the bird feeders on but um, when I went out the other day we've had bricks coming loose, for some reason people seem to like to break off the bricks and the kids, don't they? yeah, they've been some of them have been nicked and everything but when I went out the other day, I noticed that the railing is loose, but also the wall is wobbling really badly where the railing's attached on the end, but it, the rest of the wall then, like, um, wobbles with it. So they're coming out to assess whether they just need to fix the ending or whether they need to fix the whole thing. Personally, we need to do the whole thing, don't we? Because the whole wall wobbles. Yeah. It's not just the um. The bit at the top. Yeah, it's not just like a few bricks and the railing. It's like the whole wall. Yeah, I just I said to Sophie a little while ago actually that when I was a kid, um. There was a family that had a young child and they were playing out in their garden, and their brick wall fell on the child and it just killed him instantly. And it was just no, horrible. That happens with our wall. No, we know Even that. If it's not our fault. No, there's there's so many kids around here that play out in the street or say goodbye to family members or friends and whatever. And it's just people do stand by our wall. And if that was to fall on a child, yeah, it's just we could never live with ourselves. I'm tempted, actually, to make a sign. And yeah. Stick it on and we'll have to stick one on next door's bit as well. Regardless, we'll have to do it. Just to warn of, them. Yeah, because of the fact it's dangerous. Might have to get like a bit of cardboard or something and well, paint on it. Well, I was thinking and laminate it in case it rains. Yeah. That should work, shouldn't it? Yeah, just to make sure that yeah. people don't stand near it for too long. I mean, walking by it would might be fine, 
but to stand near it long term or lean against it or whatever yeah. is it's just too risky and yeah, no. I might put a post up on our estate Facebook page actually now. Yeah. And just put it out there so Yeah. What a bit of fun. So we've added that to the list of things that need doing. It's just never ending. Mum turned and said on the phone today, is it because of all the birds that's coming along? Like jokingly. And I was like, Really mum? No, no, I can't. Dixie will take it herself. But um, yeah, I'm now gonna take her meds. You're welcome for that. But I'm gonna go take my meds and finish writing in my journal. One down. Let us know in the comments if you yawned. <laughs> Whoops. So far, it has been a rough day. Um, loads of tears and just, yeah, um, we had some difficulties with family this morning. Um, my eyes are still really, like, puffy. You can see it compared to the other one. Um, but I'm trying to focus on doing stuff in the house today, <sighs> following our nap. So the first thing is... We've had this pram, it's a silver cross um, travel system with ice effects and then there's that bit and then there's like a bassinet there. We've had it for about two, three years um, and we thought we would try this one out. We do already have a different pram that we had when we first started trying to conceive <clears throat> um, and we thought we would just try this and see if it fits better for us but it's just too heavy um, and obviously because it's just been sitting around now it's got really dusty and things so so it's got to run to Tesco's so I'm going to sit here and hoover it down and wipe it down and clean it and then be able to take some nice pictures of it to try and sell it um, just so that we're getting it out of the house now but I just don't feel like doing shit now because of all the shit this morning. I've got a headache already that I think is going to turn into a migraine. I didn't sleep well. Um, so yeah, it's all great fun. As you can probably hear with my voice, I'm not doing the best, but is what it is. Um, it's just more shit on top of the stuff we've already got to contend with and really don't need. But families, gotta love them. So, yeah, I'm going to get on and clean this. No barking, Alba. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> it is now all cleaned and we've just taken photos to put it up for sale. Whoop, whoop. Yeah!
good morning so i'm actually out of the house not just gardening but i'm out of the house for the first time since the donkey sanctuary yeah all other times so let's go and shopping by themselves see this is weird good for me though yeah That hurts my ears so much, but that's a win-win goal for me. But all I was gonna say was, huh? 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 I just how much oh, was. if you didn't know, there's things like soft plastic. So the things that you get around, like apples, um, toilet roll, like those kind of things. Water. Yeah, you can actually recycle them. You can go take them to the supermarket with you and there's a little Uji whip that you can um, deposit them and it all gets recycled and reused. So we're going to show you what it looks like at ours. So as to whether it may be like what it might look like at yours. Yeah, obviously in America, I don't know, really know the deal, but obviously this is the UK. So. So, the next thing you'll see is the soft plastics recycling point. So, this is what it looks like and watch my in uh, But yeah, this is all the different things that you can recycle. So, super good. So we have uh, also got some mealworms and another feeder because... <laughs> We're not trying to overfeed them. <laughs> the bird that came in the song thrush which is what we've got lots of around here they prefer things like worms and bugs and insects so they're not going for the fat ball thingies so yeah let's see long-tailed tits bullfinch robins great tits and blue tits lots of tits um so yeah, let's see if they prefer these and I am so grossed out by it. <laughs> <laughs> 